Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Ed Clark and welcome to my fourth vlog. Okay, today I'm gonna eh, talk about something really, really cool. Before I get into it, I'd like to. Before I get into it, I would like to basically, I don't know, explain what I'm gonna be doing. For this, for this vlog that. It's just going to be, um, I don't know, um, for this vlog, I'm going to be basically just, I don't know, um, well, i got to say, I tend to do all these, like, weird things, but, like, it's one weird thing that I think is really awesome that I do, is I tend to write lists, and now I've been trying to... I make these lists and like a lot of cool things like believe me guys this is really awesome like I'm not lying about this I'm uh, really telling the truth that this stuff just comes right out of my head and I write down on paper and yeah it's about oh I guess I'll tell you what it is it's about centripetal force oh. And here's a little thing I created before, just as like a key to know what they, all this stuff means. Alright. Guys, you remember this came right out of my head. Like, I have no help with this at all. This centripetal force. And the way you find like all the formulas, like this is what I did, I wrote down all the formulas for it. And like for the, to find it, it would be mass times volume squared divided by radius <laughs> and another one for it would be mass times acceleration centripetal so centri centripetal uh, yeah centripetal acceleration so basically acceleration and there's again there's mass times radius times with nothing wait what's w angular velocity sorry squared or um, mass times radius times two pi divided by time uh, squared and here's another one of it there's the Lorentz factor mass velocity squared divided by radius and if you guys don't know centripetal uh, moves inward to the center and trans trans centrifugal uh, moves um, outward and the best way to explain that is if you ever been on a playground you would know like when you uh, I forget what it's really called. If you go on that, uh, this one, like a little ride thing you, you can go on, and you just basically get on this big giant, like, I don't know, this big giant disc with all these handles, and someone just spins you, and you just like keep going and going and going and going and going and going. You keep spinning around like crazy and really, really fast, and yeah, you feel like you're gonna fly off. Well, you going closer to the edge of the, um, the circle, that's what centrifugal is. And like things trying to keep you closer to the middle. That's why you put stay in the middle. And you're on that thing. Because when you're in the middle, you stay in the middle. That's what's called centripetal. And that's the best way I can explain to you guys. Like that's basically what it is. I'm trying to break it down as easy as I can, but I know it's a lot of if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's kind of hard to understand, but yeah. Okay. I also, like, when I did the centripetal force, I also wrote down a lot of other ones, too. Like, here's centripetal acceleration, and here's uh, this. Here's how to get it. The formulas for it would be velocity squared divided by uh, radius 
or velocity divided by time. Sounds easy, huh? Yeah. Okay. Here's the length of velocity. Diameter divided by time. No, I think, wait, I think it's diameter, hold on. No, distance divided by time, I'm sorry. Uh, and here's that one. And it's broken down to uh, um, mass per second. Oop, why is my thing not focusing? There it is. Okay. Oh, I'm foc not focusing anymore. Come on. Hold on, guys. Nope. I guess it's back. Oh, there you go, guys. Hey, I'll just keep it out here. Basically, that's it right there. Um, another one for it would be angular velocity uh, times radius. I hope you guys can really see this. I'm sorry that I have to keep it out like this, but like here's distance. And I think you know what distance is, guys. There's kilometers, um, meters, centimeters. You got, the, you got the gist of that. And here is circumference. I think you know what circumference is. It's uh, pi times uh, pi times diameter and uh, pi times radius squared. Oh, I think I have two. There you go. And diameter is um, two times radius and uh, circumference divided by pi and Here's radius. I see guys, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna let you guys see them because I hate just explaining what they mean. And here's momentum. That's mass times volume, guys. And here's uh, angular velocity. Okay, that's two pi divided by t. Here's mass. That's, um, what's the DE mean? I mean DE up, uh, okay, that's just distance times volume, I guess. Yeah, that's what I believe. And it's also momentum divided by volume and velocity, I'm sorry. And, yeah. Okay. There's hour, I'm pretty sure you know what hour is. Minutes in the hour, 60. Seconds in the hour, 3,600. And here's another cool one, Lorentz factor. I don't know if you know what that is, but I am not explaining that to you. I'm sorry, guys. You might know what that is, but the V means um, velocity, and C means circumference, and that's all I can really explain to you guys right now. That's what the Lorentz factor is. I did this right. video basically to, um, I don't know, uh, no, basically uh, to explain really what um, goes on in my head and, I don't know, um, I guess I could, I hope you guys relate to it and people that do have autism like really like understand like this is, you're not alone. Mm. And, yeah guys. Well I said guys, I would like to uh, throw a shout out to a um, person I found on YouTube and now a Facebook friend. Her name's Hannah. Bedell. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I, I hope so. And I'm sorry if I uh, misspelled it. I mispronounced it, um, and I'm sorry. But, but like, I don't know. Um, she's also an, an advocate for autism. She has um, a form of, I think, autism. I think it's undiagnosed um, Aspergers. So, yeah. 
And what's really cool, guys, is she lives in Pennsylvania, too. I live in Johnstown, and she lives, I forget exactly where it's at, but yeah, she's only like a couple hours away from me, and it's pretty cool. And yeah, I gotta say, guys, I gotta tell you, uh, Hannah, you could just rock. They're awesome. So, with all I said, guys, I guess I'm going to end this with peace, love, and light. See you guys. <laughs>